Evelyn, what a pleasant surprise. I trust you had a safe journey? Safety? Ha! <laughs> what a quaint concept. Evelyn, are you well? You may quit your maternal act, company man. I'm well aware of your true identity. <laughs> oh, Evelyn, do not be so angry. Do you think that I do not know where you go when you climb through your window? To the rooftops at night? How you play the dainty daughter to your doting father? How you pretend to blend with slaves of all people? As if you could conceal your true self from me. <laughs> My dear, sweet stepdaughter. You are alive today because I needed you. Because I still need you. For what? Sit down. A little late for that, don't you think? My men will kill you. Then what will be left of your precious brotherhood? At ease. Look at us. So sad. How many years have we worked together for the slaves? Ha! You kept them enslaved, on your own terms, out of sight for your ill gain. You ended that, as was my intention. Monsieur de Ferrer had different ideas. He perverted my peaceful colony into something ugly. You had to kill him. I owe you gratitude. I don't believe you. Evelyn, I love you. I raised you as my own. I was unable to bear children, but you brought light to my life. My whole life you lied to me. I am sorry. It was necessary. A mother's duty is to protect. But look at me now in the light of truth. You who know so well the pain of a life lived in secret, shrouding your power in petticoats and lace, pretending obedience to men who deny you the right to your own abilities. Am I really so strange to you? I needed you to quash the terrorist elements in my organization. I need you still. I cannot let the assassins waste your talents. You are too valuable to me. As a tool to manipulate? I know you have been frustrated. Agate. I disobeyed. De Ferrer would still live if he had his way. You see, your aims match mine. Join me, Avelyn. Finish what you started. <laughs> 